guess who's back? Back again. I hate people that put that. I do that. I do that on my own Instagrams. Shady's back. Yeah. Tell our friend. friend. Well, we're back, Angie. You, me, Dupree. This, pod, this podcast. Yeah. And it's so nice. <laughs> it's so Today nice is days. the Thursday episode mm-hmm. of this month. <laughs> Four of them. This is just one. This will be the third one, to be honest. Mm. Maybe it's the second. I don't do maths very well. <laughs> uh, we're recording from Gadigal Country again. I know. So exciting. We're just yeah. living the absolute dream we are. Oh, we are. Um, guess what's back? Eka's Sh- back. Shady? No, Eka. Do you know what Eka is? Of course I know what Eka is. You're from Queensland. It's, I'm from the Queenslands. I used to go to the Eka quite often when I was a child, not as an adult, because it's dirty, yeah. everybody gets sick, post-COVID, oh, God, I don't know anybody a, a that would... reading ground, wouldn't That it? would willingly want to go to the Eka, but if you have, go off to what? each their own. Yeah, exactly. And if you're into breeding grounds, then that's a good one. Um, Angie, do you know what Eka is short for? Entertainment... Exhibition, actually. Kite. Just, uh, the Brisbane Exhibition. Let's just say that. No, no, that's, that's not what, what it exactly would what it is. For. Brisbane Exhibition Ecker. No, be it's not Eber. Exhibition Ecker. It's just short for exhibition. E- Ecker is so. Eka. A, why wouldn't they call it Exa? I know. I don't know because Queensland. That's why. Oh, Ever so been true. There? Ever met anyone from and there? I never, you know, that's how Queens- turn around and look in that mirror. <laughs> You know what? I'm so Queensland that I've never even questioned why it's called Eka. I'm so dumb. I'm such a dumb little man. Hey, Dazza, you going to Eka this weekend? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Eka. Anyway, if you don't know what Eka is, it's just basically the Easter show in Queensland or the Royal Melbourne show in Brisbane. um, Queensland in Brisbane. Yeah, the Easter show, Royal Easter show is Sydney, and the Royal Melbourne show is I have no idea where that is, but I'm going to say Adelaide. The nickname comes from shortening of exhibition. There you go. There you go. The Eka showcases the best of Queensland. Attracting more than 21,000 yeah. competition entries from woodchop to giant veg arbor tablers. 10,000 animals from beef cattle to cats and dogs, world class live entertainment, award winning food and wine, and much more. I don't know what much more you'd need. Oh, you don't need honestly. anything, dolls. <laughs> It's got it all at the Eka. It's got everything at the Eka. And if we don't get free tickets for next year's show from this, then I don't know who's Arthur or who who's is Martha. Martha. The iconic show has been running since 1876. That's a long ass That's time. A really long time. That's over a hundred years, sweetie. Missed out fire. Yeah, oh, thank you very much. Eka isn't just for locals, Angie. Mm, I've heard. I've seen. Angie Kent has been there. <laughs> Agro's been there, Fat Cat's been known to turn up and Matt Damon was spotted there with his kids and wife last week. Did they have to shut it down for him or did he just roam about with the plebs? Yeah, he just roams about. He puts on a hat. Oh, bless Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. (laughs) Um, Wow, cool. Good on you, Damon. Yeah, you know who else was spotted there? Um, Gandhi. Oh, I think I saw him when I was little. That was way before your time. I, I did. I saw him there. <laughs> Imagine if you're one of those people that was like, oh, he oh, was yeah, this Mandela there. effect. I saw him when I was two with my nan and pop. Yeah. And you always go to the shows with your nan and pop. That was one of always. my Eka stories is that my nan and pop would only ever take me and I remember I got to stay out late and I won a doll when my poppy went up for me and her name creepy. was Sue. She oh, was a little creepy. yellow doll and she had a little yellow dress it's and her little name yep. was on. And I loved her and I don't know where she is now, but my poppy, it was always mine and my poppy's thing. And oh. she's got, I remember her leg fell off. Oh, she was soft. Creepy. We went creepy again. Look, Sue, if you're out there. <laughs> Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. What's that off? Um, Come back. Everyone knows it's from... Um, Itanic. The Eka. Ekatanic. <laughs> so when we I over I cannot remember the Easter show. That's how long it's been since I've been. I can't remember the Easter show. I've I used never to go been. every year with my grandmother. 
Mm. Every single year my grandmother would come to our house and pick me and my brother up and we would go to the Royal Easter it's Show. I wonder why it's such a nanny poppy thing oh, to do. My parents t- took their grandkids mm. to the Royal Easter Show every year. Like it's such a grandparent, grandchild thing to do and it's such a beautiful thing. This one year when I was in year two, this was the last time. No, I, ne- mm. Mm, mm, mm. I did something naughty. I did something very, very naughty, which I'm not going to talk about. Oh, please. No, it is. You don't want to know. No, I really do. You really don't. Please. It, it involves police. Like, it's <gasps> not good. It is not but good. But you're little, so we're was, not going to judge you. You're only you a will child. Judge me, and so you should, as Damon yeah, but how old? from the Omen. <laughs> But how old were you? Seven. Yeah, no judgment. Go on. No, I'm not doing oh, it. Well, but no, I'll tell I'm... you this much. La, 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 la. Turn the microphone off, Rachie. I'll tell you this much. When I came back from school after being picked up by my police mother. Police station, she means. Well, no, the police came to school and they sent me home. No, my she mother didn't. Sorry, sorry. This is because we owned a, a, a shop. We owned the corner store. So mum couldn't come and pick me up because she was the only person in the shop, dad, worked through the day. So um, I had a half day note to go home and Mrs Day was our principal. Um, unbeknownst to me, her and mum had been talking and everything and mum said, she goes, well, obviously um, she won't be going to the Royal Easter show today. And she goes, mum says, well, no, of course not. She said, but um, send her home anyway. So I skipped home thinking I'd gotten away with near murder and I walked in and I remember going into my bedroom and my clothes were all laid out on my bed. My mother was the best. And I started to get dressed and my mum came in and said, what do you think you're doing? And I said, I'm getting dressed for the East Show. Nan will be here soon. She goes, you're not going anywhere. Do you want to tell me what you did at school today? And I was like, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Anyway. So you lied to your mum? Yeah, I lied. No, I didn't. I told the complete truth. But after you in my mind, for probably the next decade or so, I still never thought I had done anything wrong. Oh, and that, if you so listen, annoying. if you listen next week, I promise I will tell you. Okay, tune in next week, and I will tell you the rest of this story. But I'm just telling you the the bit about my grandmother going to my mother. Oh, that was really bad. The mum said so. She will not be going today, and I stood on our big freezers, you know, the freezers that are out the back of shops? Yeah. I stood on that for four hours and screamed, (laughs) help me, help me. (laughs) I'm being murdered. (laughs) She would have been the worst And my mother stood at the front of the shop and every person, ding, you'd hear another one come in. And she says everyone would be the same. They'd like look up and around because you can't see. You could just hear a child screaming, help me, help me. And Did your mum smack you? No. I would no, have never. smacked you. No, yeah, no, no. She, she. I was being punished enough, so I was trying to punish her. But she was like, everyone that came in. I would have grabbed in, you off that thing and I would have put you down and I shoved you in, in your room and yeah. locked you in your room. Yeah, she felt like doing that. My mother was a pretty good mum, though. But um, that anyway, doesn't make you so a bad mum if you want to do that to your screaming no, kid. No, no, she was just a very good patience. She would have like, had to be patient pa- if she had to put up with of those tantrums. Saint. But yeah, no, I did that, and every t- every time someone came in, they'd just be like, "What?" And she'd go tantrum, and they'd go off like that. It was the seventies. So. Imagine if you actually were getting murdered; that would have been a sad one. Oh, that's true. Um, <laughs> just just like back in the day, everybody was just like, "No, no, 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 tantrum, just a tantrum," and then heaps of people are actually dying. Oh my god! So your mum really stitched everybody up there, and so did you. If you could go back in time and change anything about, would you change that moment? Yeah. I would you not change do that what you did? I wouldn't do the crime. Yeah. I want to know about this crime. All right. I might tell you I might not. Okay, well, I'll get it out of you. A big, big thing that happens at the Ecker or any show is obviously the show bugs. Oh, yeah. And uh, times <sighs> have changed since we were wee kids and the prices are next level. Level Cadbury's bag was the best, wasn't it? Because you got so much chocolate in Back it. Back in the day when we, well, I would go, Birdie Beetle was like a go-to. They were expensive for back. That was the cheap one. Yeah, but you like you just get it because you didn't have a lot of yeah, money. Everyone could get a yeah. Birdie Beetle bag. When I was with Nan and Pop, I was allowed, because they spoiled me rotten, I was allowed like a fairy princess one, which was probably like 20 bucks. Back then, oh that's a God. lot of money. Yeah. Now, guess how much Birdie Beetle show bags are? Well, can I first start with what they used to be, like, say, yeah. in the 90s? Go on, do whatever you want. I'd say $10. 
In the 90s? Yeah, yeah. Because they used to be about $5 in the 80s. Oh, I think they were still only about $5 in the, in the 90s. 90s. I don't right. remember them. Like when I was a ki- like young kid. So I'm thinking now with inflation and everything, a 50 buck bag for a, the bottom. Oh, gosh. No? You're, you're a bit extreme. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so in the Birdie Beatles show bag, you get times 18 Birdie Beatles, little ones, and the choice of one prize, which is a cooler bag or a mug or a key ring. So oh, what do you reckon? A key ring? What do you reckon that would cost? I'll give you another shot. 20 bucks. <laughs> okay, close. It's 15 $15, that's great. <laughs> no, actually, how many chocolates do you get? 18. They're 18 th- chocolate birdie beetles They're this for big. 15 bucks. Yeah, and then you also get a cooler bag or a mug or a key ring. What's the cooler bag look like? Oh, I don't know. We're just a freaking cooler, cooler bag. bag. Just like a little tiny cooler esky, what is like, cool? a, like a lunchbox. What is a cool? Like... Your birdie beetles oh. or your sandwiches. Oh, no, i that's ridiculous. 15 bucks. <laughs> Yuck. Okay, so, the Nestle family deal show bag, you get birdie beetles, you get Kit Kats, you get Smarties and you get snakes. Alive. Alive? How 20, much? 25, 30, 45, no, 80. You already said it. 25. 25. That's ridiculous. All right, Barbie Dreamtopia show bag. You get a backpack. You get a headband. 200. You, wait, I'm not finished. You get a squirt. You a get what? a squirt. A squirt. A squirt. A skirt. Oh. You get a stick on earrings. What? You get a card. How long did they last? You get a card. You get a wand. A you get a wand. trinket box. How much only- do you reckon that's going to cost you? 200 bucks. Oh, you are ridiculous. <laughs> I'd pay that. You, too. my friend, are something else. You Barbie. You yeah, get Margot Robbie Barbie. in it. You get Ryan Gosling. <laughs> oh, God, I'd give my left tit for that. Oh, I'd pay 200 for that. Just spend $200. So that is $32, Hez. Oh, that's brilliant. I think that's not too bad Just for, for 2000 bag, 32 bucks in bloody you know, reject shop. Come on. <laughs> All right, what about a Cadbury Freddo show bag? You get four dairy milks, you get one milky top, you get one strawberry Freddo, you get six times. I don't need to know everything that's in it. Yeah, but it's this fine. could go forever. Fine, five dollars. Five dollars? <laughs> that's incredible. <laughs> Wait, can Give I please do this last? Please tell me what a milky top is, though. <laughs> Say it. Top deck. Top deck. <laughs> Milk. Freddo. Can I please what? do this one more because I just love her stupid guesses. But let me finish because okay. I have to list this okay. one. Come on. Harry Potter show bag. <gasps> $82. $82 and a wand. Do you get glasses? So you get a notebook. Oh, yeah. Wizard book. <laughs> you get a backpack. You get a scarf. You get a lanyard. Oh, look you out. You get slippers and a wand. <gasps> And a wand, I knew it. Did you get the glasses? Do you get the glasses? Well, that's a rort. Oh, actually, it's very cheap. Oh, how much is it? Two dollars. Thirty-two. Oh, I'm actually really impressed. I think that's the a most expensive off. one. Don't get the glasses. The most expensive Echo show bag is Lint, and it's one hundred and twenty-five. Lint, like the the, the roads. Lint box <laughs> chocolate. Oh, Lint <laughs> chocolate. Lint the 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 tollway. Yeah, you just get a toll. <laughs> you, you get a toll. You get one hundred and twenty-five dollars worth of up. free tolls for the year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, my Lint. God. Lint, Lint. chocolate. Oh, look, you know what? Lint is a bloody – if you're listening, Lint, please send us some Lint. But <laughs> um, it's just chocolate at the end of the day. Cadbury's oh, is fine. Oh, God. It's got a glass and a half, isn't it? If you're listening, Cadbury's, hello, 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 That hello. was just – Summy now. Oh, that was. That anyway, was... well, my favourite memory of the show was nothing because I can't remember <laughs> ever going because I am a victim in all of this. You are such victim mentality. I love it. I'm going to write cry a... every single year that we'd have um, a family dinner and it would start coming up and I would try to justify why I did what I did and <laughs> no one would. And everyone used to poke me like a bear until I'd lose it and then I couldn't eat my pierogi anymore. <laughs> but you still did, didn't you? And then no. you got your little snacky after because no. you're a spoiled brat. I didn't. Who did you something were... really naughty at really school naughty. and I reckon it's bad. I reckon really you hit naughty. someone. I never hit a person. 
I've seen you hit someone before. Did not hit I've heard you, anyone. I've seen you hit someone twice. Yeah, and that, both of those times were for you, so stop it. <laughs> for me, that's the one. No one of them was it. Who was the Maybe other one? Maybe is it three times that you hit someone? Who have I hit? We've told the story. She beat the shit out of a man down. Yeah, and when was the third time? Oh, hello. Uh, no, just the two. You were thinking of someone else. I was thinking of Tom and the man. What's your favourite memory from the Royal Easter show? Um, I didn't go. I've never been. I've been to the Ecker. I haven't That's been to the... the same oh. thing. No, it's not. Easter is at the beginning of the year. The yeah, Ecker is it's now. Yeah, the same show. It moves. Oh, whatever. And it, and it comes to us at in Easter time because we're more important. At this late stage, I'm not having this conversation with you. So my favourite moment, memory is just being there with my nan and pop. That's just oh, it. Getting the dolls, boring. winning the prizes, and eating my body weight in treats. A yellow doll that can't named Sue. You know what? <laughs> You're a real jerk. <laughs> You're a real jerk. Jerky. You know what? Hey, on that, jerky. You're a real jerk. On that note, I'm out because you know what? You've really just peeved me off. Yeah, well, you have the day you deserve. <laughs> yeah, all of you and Evie, you have the day you deserve. I'm going home. Uh, take some birdie beetles. See ya! Oh, birdie beetles are the worst. Bye. Don't forget to rate and review the show if you love us. If you don't, just don't just do DM anything. me. Don't do any. Just DM Angie. And um, we love you. Bye-bye. Bye! Bye!